Well, first things first, you all should know me. I'm Professor Sims. P Sims, Professor Sims. Yes, Dr. Sims to some of y'all. So uh, let's read this first question. Consider three charges arranged as shown. Now this is your figure. It's giving you some, some information. What does this information mean? It means here this charge is 8.6 microcoulombs. And 4.2 centimeters from this charge, you have another charge that's 4.3 microcoulombs. And from that charge forward, 1.2 centimeters from there, you have negative 1.7 microcoulombs. Now, it's asking you to do something. What does this problem ask you to do, class? It's asking you, what is the electric field strength? So what is the strength at 0.3 centimeters? So you're looking for a distance. It's giving you a distance here to the left of the middle charge. Now this is your middle charge. Whatever everyone agrees with middle charge. Yeah. Okay. At least we got at least we got some people up today. All right, that's nice. This is the middle charge. Now, are you going to your right or are you going to your left? Well, we're gonna say you know because because it's y'all. Let's stay in the y'all's position. So this would be y'all's right and this would be y'all's left. So that means we're gonna be in here somewhere, are we not? Any anybody disagree? Anybody disagree? No. Don't play. Okay, I was gonna say don't play with me this morning, cause you know I will write people up. I will. <clears throat> we can do that. Now in here somewhere you're supposed to find the charge. It's giving you some additional information. It's giving you a constant. The Coulomb constant is 8.99 times 10 to the 9 newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Does anybody, for the past semester, have any clue as to what you would do in order to solve this? Now, keep in mind, I am your professor, and I have been the one teaching you for the past semester. So I hope, for the sake of y'all not getting a pop quiz next class, that somebody knows how to solve this. Any volunteers? I do. Brittany, you always answer the questions down. Any, any, can anybody answer the, Brittany, go, go again, Brittany, go. Can I? As you're going along, explain to the class what it is you're doing. Okay, well first, I am converting my microcoulombs to coulombs. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that's that's right. Don't look at me. You got it right so far. I messed up, Professor. Oh. Oh, okay. Everybody see what she did there? Yeah. Okay. Good catch. Now class, don't be alarmed in what she's doing. All she's doing is doing her conversions first. Smart thing, so when you get ready to do your equation, everything will automatically just be okay. uh, pluggable. And now I'm just gonna convert um, my distance instead of centimeters to meters. Okay, why are you converting it to meters? Because to my Coulomb's constant is meters, not centimeters. Okay, very good, very good. Look at somebody learning in my class. Hey, J Johnson, wh wake up! Goodness. Okay, so now you got your conversion from your for your your measurement, your, your distance. You got your conversion for your charge. What's next? Plug Look, in my equation. Plug in your equation. Okay. 
Very good. Okay, keep going. We got to get to an answer here. <coughs> okay, and now I'm going to solve for each each electric field. K is a constant and that's 8.9 The radius of um, this one right here, since we're since they want three centimeters to the left, I'm going to um, just take this distance and subtract it by point zero three. Okay. Uh, class, can we get some calculation going here? Okay. I, I, I think I got it. Okay. Okay. No. I think I. Um. Are you supposed to divide? No. Do this. Do we put that? Let's go. I got it. I, I, okay. I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. It's um uh, for for that one. It's a uh, five point three six nine zero three times 10 to the 8, and I believe that's in, uh, that's in uh, Newton, Newton Coulomb. Very, very good, Johnson. See what okay. happens when you wake up? See? Mm -mm. Okay, and for E2, we're going to do the same thing. Y'all get on your calculators now. Come on. Help her out. Calculations class. Um, I, 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 I think I've gotten it. Um, for for that equation, I want to say it's um four four point two nine five two two times ten to the seven. What's the units for that? Uh, oh, um, it's um, it's it's it's, it's Newton, Newton per coulomb. Very good. <laughs> okay, and for the third one, we're going to do the exact same thing. But the only difference is since my, my charge is this way and we're trying to get like right here because that's where it's at, I'm going to add um, a one point, well actually, I'm going to add point zero one two meters to point zero three. And good catch class make sure that you keep track of your units because where a lot of y'all make mistakes ensure that you're doing the proper conversion every time that's why it's important to do your conversions first
Are we on our calculators? Okay. This will be different than that one. And the answer is? Um, I want to say that I've got an, it's um, 8.6638. Three and that's um ten to the six Newton per coulomb, of course. Very good, very good, Rebecca. Okay. <coughs> is that is that finished? This part is um next um I'm gonna have to add all the. All the electric fields up to get the next field. 